It's Michelle Renee. Just wanted to say, what up, girlfriends? I am sitting here. I'm exhausted. I'm wearing ugly work clothes. I have been working and I'm in training all week and I have to use my brain and I'm exhausted like Lean Six Sigma all day long. And I'm, you know, I got a braid out thing happening here, which my hair looks good, but my face is looking a little rough, but that's okay. I'm not here to impress anyone. I'm here to talk to you guys because I have 14 subscribers now, which is really, really exciting. So hello, 14 and the couple stragglers that watch my videos. Anyway, today I'm bringing to you guys a unboxing of Birchbox. If you follow me on Instagram, I have two th over 2,000 followers on Instagram now, you know that I am I subscribed to Ipsy and Birchbox. And in ordering these, I did not only receive one birch box, I received two because somehow I ordered marches, which kind of already came and went. It's like mad into April right now, like right in there. And then I have this guy here. So we're going to start with April since that's probably the most relevant right now. If I start talking about March, you guys are going to be like, boring, been there, done that. I don't blame you. So moving right along, we have here April's Birch Box. I'm still waiting on my Ipsy Glam Bag, by the way. Little disappointed that it's still not here. But I think I got an email. I should check that. I'll do that later. Not on your time. So here it is in this beautiful box. It's funny because I actually like painted my like bathroom something like this color, but like obviously much lighter because this would just look a hot mess in someone's bathroom unless you like live in like a tropical area. But anywho, I live in the Northeast, no tropical colors. But uh, so let me, can I just, for one second, can I just tell you guys that I actually filmed this video and lost all the footage already. So I'm going to pretend like I'm surprised about what's going on in these boxes. It's lies. It's all lies because I already know what's in them. And I've swatched them and I did, I've been through this. I did it. it I did it. So we just have got to move on. So I'm unboxing and I'm already making mistakes. Ooh, that goes here. Okay. So this is the little card that comes with the April box. And I guess the company that provided the boxes is the Rifle Paper Company. So it's really beautiful, nice and floral. So very nice for the spring. And then more so this paper here is more like what color my bathroom is, but you can't really see. It's a lot more peachy pink coral all together kind of thing. So here is the box. So that's what we have here. First thing up, I did in the original video pick up this guy first. This is the Wish Body Butter. And if we consult our little handy dandy card here, Wish, let's see, it says Three Wishes Body Butter. And it's in blueberry because that's not a weird thing you want to walk around smelling like. And the full size retails at $24. It says luscious antioxidant rich formula that firms softens and smooths who doesn't need a little bit of that you know what i'm saying so when i first put this on my hand i like the texture and but like when i sniffed it in the tube i'm like man that smells like straight up raw blueberry and i'm not really the biggest blueberry fan but then when you mix it all into your skin it does. I do like it. It's it's a much better scent. It's a very strong scent, though. So if you're kind of sensitive to smells, this right here, I mean, you smell like a blueberry. I mean, Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet, like one of those situations, you know, Willy Wonka style. So we have that. Moving on. So we have a shampoo and conditioner. And, you, you know, you guys see this on my head? I'm not a big shampoo and conditioner reviewer because like my hair, although very complicated, is very simple. Like I don't try a bunch of this, that, and throw a conditioner or shampoo. If it's a thick conditioner, and I don't even use a whole lot of shampoo, 
then it's really not like I use my conditioner like a shampoo it's kind of like a double thing a shampoo just kind of just dries my hair out but anywho we have this here this is a beaver professional hydro nutritive moisturizing shampoo and conditioner the full size retails at $15 for the shampoo and $16 for the conditioner and then you know I'm really just interested in smells oh um, I almost spilled some that's okay so you know I'll, I'll try them why not I don't expect much out of shampoo and conditioner not with, not with this hair because I don't need a lot with this situation that I have but anywho and then we get these cute little, you see these little things, little doodads? It's so cute. It's like a little birch box inside a birch box. Yay! So when I pop this little guy open, there are two makeup products. So that's this here. You guys can see that. And then we have this. So starting with the first one, we have here Cargo Swimmables, mm -hmm, if you want to get ready for the summer, water resistant blush, the full, and it says this water resistant pigment stays put and gives skin an effortless glow. Now my complaint with this situation is I had the same problem with this <laughs> in my last video that I lost. I can't get the dang thing open. Like I want to swatch it for you guys but it won't let me seriously like I remember I had gotten in there somehow it's like it's almost like a, oh there it is one of these like it's like a, a tin so there's no like perforated area where I can pull like it's all smooth so you just kind of have to hope for the best so now my camera is not the best and I have really poor lighting because I'm in my bedroom still because I'm still doing work on my house. I'm going to do a video about the work on my house so you guys don't think that I'm lying. But it's a very, it's a very coral, um, there, if you look like right, that right there is the color that it really is. And it's very pigmented. I've swatched this, you know, obviously I told you guys. So that's it there. It's very nice. It does have some uh, sparkly things going on in there, but I do like it. I can't wait to try it. I've never worn a blush this color before. You know, my skin color, I'm just kind of curious to see how it goes, so we'll see. I'll post a picture on Instagram when I do use it. And then here we have the Lacca Company Lip Lube, which, you know, I, I did swatch this. It's not going to do anything for me. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. For me personally. Now you fair colored skin folks would probably have better luck with something like this. My lips are naturally pretty just dark like kind of purpley. So whenever if I put anything like this on it I mean it's just going to be like a chapstick. So it shows up on my hand. I did swatch it on my mouth in the last video that I lost <laughs> forever. It's gone in cyber world somewhere. It's it looks nothing like that. It just looks like nothing. It looks like I have a nice, you know, smooth mouth, if that makes sense. So that concludes the April Birch Box. I'm trying to keep this fast because I don't want to keep you guys interest for too long or lack thereof. But if you're not interested in seeing the March box, just make sure you comment, subscribe below, and I'll be happy to do whatever kind of things you want to suggest. Okay, so we can do some things in the future. Besides the fact you're going to tell me that you want me to get a new camera and all that. All right, now. Anyway, so this is March, and this is March's card. I feel most creative when I'm talking to 14 subscribers. That's when I feel the most creative. When do you feel most creative? That's what they're asking anyway. And it also has the items here. Just regular brown box for March. I don't know, maybe they just gave me all the, the end of the boxes or something. If they, if they do colorful boxes or if that's a first time thing with this rifle paper company, I don't know. So I lost the little special like birch box within a birch box situation. I think I recycled it. Yes, I recycled it. I did not trash it. So that's the box when you open it up. Let's get the two things that I'm not excited about. <sighs> shampoo and conditioner okay I mean I'll try it again I like me and my hair 
Like, what, what am I, what, what is it gonna do for it? Nothing. It smells okay. It smells like cocoa butter. Is that weird? <laughs> for it to smell like cocoa butter. Anywho, this is Beauty Protector. So let's see, the claim for these are this nourishing conditioner hydrates with the help of shea butter and pearl powder. First of all, shea butter is what I'm smelling because I knew I smelled butter of sorts in there. And then pearl powder. That makes me want to try it because it sounds valuable. <laughs> it's the little things. All right, we'll go to something else I'm not that excited about. A little perfume sample although I'm not gonna lie to you guys smell this it's fabulous citrusy floral which is not really my cup of tea in any other situation but for some reason I love this so I will get some use out of it and let's see what does it say this is Harvey Prince hello is what it's called it's um, <laughs> Shh, Max my dog is barking no don't bark don't you freak out. Come here. Come sit down and talk to the people. But quietly. <laughs> so it's the full size retails for $55. And it says, oh, now he's, can you guys, I don't know if you guys can see him. Anyway, my dog is 160 pounds of pure just frustration. <laughs> I'm kidding. It says best selling spritz that mingles cheerful citrus and floral notes. Well, hello there. And it tells you how to apply perfume just in case you didn't know. Something I'm a little bit more excited about is this here. We have, this is Vasanti Cosmetics Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenate, Rejuvenator. And it full size retails for $34. And what it does is uh, this, seriously, you're going to scratch yourself now? Moving on. This customer fave mimics the effects of microdermabrasion for glowing smooth skin. Always wanted to try microdermabrasion. I've never even had a facial before. I have the worst skin ever. People on my Instagram talk about how great my skin is. It is awful. I have huge pores. I'm covered in acne and acne scars. My skin is awful i have a good complexion i guess like it's kind of moderately even except for like my dark eyes or in like rosiness but like i don't have a whole lot of like blotchy stuff but when it comes to actual skin my skin sucks like um, i remember when i started i was getting pimples at like 11 and my mom's like oh it's so great because you got you got you're going through puberty early that means you're gonna get it over with well i'm old now why do i still have puberty evidence on my face the world may never know okay rant over so that's that so i can't wait to try this i will post a review on my instagram I could do a video, but I don't think this would be a fun video. I mean, if you guys want it, comment. Let me know. Let me know. Lastly, I can't find it. No, oh, just kidding. Found it. Found it. Lastly, this is called, what is it called? It's not going to focus because for some reason, when I first bought this camera, it was fabulous. Now that I updated my computer, Everything has gone to crap, but that's a rant for another day. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Glow Getter Highlighter. The full size retails for $14. It says this weightless gel formula gives skin a subtle pearlescent shimmer. Now, you guys know that highlighter. Now, I've seen, I've read the reviews on this, as you guys know, but I've been through this already. And it hasn't had great reviews at all. People are saying that it's too glittery, it's too this, it's too that. And I, I do not agree. Now this is it just straight up swatched on my hand, right? Now if I blend it in, if I just do like a little moderate blendage right below this lippy swatch, can you guys see the nice little shimmer? that's occurring on my hand. Is it better if I move back a little? So let me just say, people in the reviews are saying that it's glittery and sparkly and all of that. I don't agree. I don't see any specks of glitter. I do find it pearlescent like it claims, 
but I don't think it's glittery. So you guys decide. I'd say mix this with a little bit of foundation or BB cream and it will be fabulous. You will glow, honey. Yes. So that's that. I'm going to conclude this video because just looking at myself is depressing right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for just listening for however many minutes this video is. If you guys have any um, suggestions or anything you want to see, please comment below. Please hit the like button, please. And I will return the favor.